What are the six things you want to pay attention before retiring in Canada? Coming right up. Hey, this is Thomas. This channel is all about retirement, wealth, and insurance in Canada. No matter what age we are, retirement is always the one thing we like to think about it, and we all want to retire with confidence in one day. So I want to make sure that nothing is undermining your golden years, and there are six things that I think is important to your retirement planning. I always like the idea of start with why. So the first thing you need to think about before you retire is to ask yourself why you want to retire in the first place. Now this might seem like a stupid question. Why wouldn't you want to retire? But remember, retirement was created when most jobs were very labor-intensive and deeply unfulfilling. Times have changed, and the way to look at retirement also has changed. People now have more flexibility and opportunities. A lot of people do what they love and able to make money off it. Take me for example. I just went to Asia for a three-week vacation. The first two weeks was amazing. A lot of things to see and eat, and it was fun. However, in the last couple of days of the trip. Me and my wife just purposely find things to kill time, and we cannot wait to come back to Canada to work. It's quite ironic, but I finally realized that I need a purpose to drive me forward. So it got me thinking: Can I really take on a 10 or 20-year vacation? While a lot of people feel fulfilled during retirement, many also feel bored or lost. They wonder what they are supposed to do every day. Understanding the why behind your retirement will help you set yourself up for your future. If you ever feel stumped, here's a good question to ask yourself: What would I be able to do in retirement that I cannot do now? Is it to move to Mexico, maybe write that book that has been sitting in the back of your drawer forever, or maybe you just want to watch television all day and not worry about anything? If this is not all new to you, I would recommend you take out a sheet of paper and answer those questions. You can think of it as a kind of vision board, which will help you to put the other parts of your retirement in places. And this brings us to the second thing, which is to understand how much you will need to save for retirement. And I always suggest my clients start with the end in mind and work backwards. This isn't always easy to do, but try to estimate what your monthly expenses are going to be during retirement. In other words, how much money do you need in your bank account each month to cover your expenses such as food, transportation, or travel? For example, if you have five hundred thousand dollars in your RSP, you might think that's a lot of money. But if you plan on retiring at the age of 65, it only translates to around $30,000 of annual income after tax, based on the average lifespan of 81. There might be enough money if you just want to live a simple life and don't plan to travel abroad. But you'll probably want more if you are used to a better lifestyle. Now, if you're here for my last video where I talk about do you really need $1.7 million to retire, there are tips and method that you'll be able to answer how much you need for your retirement. It's essential to understand your saving and plan your retirement budget accordingly. The first thing to pay attention to is your debt. This, of course, is important to pay attention to not just for retirement but everyday life. When you're working, you have the potential to work more hours, get a bonus or a salary bump to help pay off those debts. But when you're on a fixed income, you don't have that luxury, and it can significantly impact your retirement income. So it's essential to pay off as much debt as possible before you retire, or at least make sure it's part of your retirement plan. If you have multiple debts, prioritize paying off the highest interest debt first. This can help you save money on interest payment over time and help you pay off debts more quickly. You may also want to consider consolidating your debts, which can make it easier to manage and pay off. Consider transferring high interest credit card debts to a lower interest personal loan, or using a balance transfer credit card. This can help reduce the interest payment and make it easier to pay off the debts. And lastly, if you're struggling to pay off the debts, consider seeking professional help. A financial advisor or credit counselor can help you develop a debt repayment plan and provide guidance on how to manage your finances during your retirement. The fourth thing to pay attention to is your life insurance plan. As Canadians approach retirement, it's essential to evaluate their financial plans and consider the future security of their loved ones. One crucial aspect of financial planning is actually life insurance. 
Life insurance policy, of course, provides the financial support to your family and the beneficiary in the event of your death. For seniors in Canada, choosing the right life insurance policy can be a daunting task, and there are multiple areas you need to pay attention before you retire. For example, make sure that your policy provider has the correct information, including your up-to-date phone number, email, and mailing address. Many times they didn't do that and it delays the claiming process. Also, if you still need someone to service your policy, please make sure you find an active agent and perhaps that is not in your age group, so he or she can continue to service you even if you are in your retirement. Do seniors still need life insurance? It all depends on your financial needs, such as taxes, final expenses, family legacy, and personal circumstances. Consult with a financial advisor or insurance specialist to help guide you through the decision-making process and ensure you select the best policy for your unique needs. And there are two primary types of life insurance in Canada. We have the term life insurance and the permanent life insurance. I have a whole list of videos about them. For now, just make sure that term insurance has expiry dates. So if you have a term insurance and you still have insurance need, you might be able to convert it to a permanent life insurance policy without undergoing a health check. With proper planning, a good life insurance policy should be able to handle your debts plus the final tax bills while creating an asset for the family. The fifth thing to consider is a health plan. One significant question is whether seniors need to get health insurance when they retire, like dental, drugs, vision, or even long-term care. While some retirees may be fortunate enough to have health care benefits continue into the retirement, most won't. It's essential to understand what is covered by the provincial health insurance plans. In general, things like doctor's visit, emergency room treatments, hospital stays, and some drug prescriptions are covered. But calling an ambulance, visiting to your dentist, or getting physical treatments are not covered, and that's why an extended health plan is important. Whether personal health plan is worth the cost totally depending on your health, where you live, and how you deal with the financial risk of not having one. Side notes, if your work has group extended health plan, you can also transfer it to your personal coverage and guarantee with no exclusion. But this only applies for the next 90 days after you quit your job. And the last thing to consider is to develop a strategy for social security benefits. For example, your monthly CPP amount is based on the average earning over your working life and the age at which you choose to start receiving the pension. While the standard age to begin receiving CPP is at age of 65, you can start receiving it early at age 60 or as late as age 70. If you choose to start receiving your pension earlier, your monthly payments will be smaller but you get the money earlier. Another benefit you may be eligible is for the OA Security or OAS for short. It's a social security program designed to provide a basic level of income for seniors. And unlike CPP, OAS is based on how many years you reside in Canada. But if you have too much taxable income in your retirement years, the government will reduce the amount of OAS in what is known as the clawback. Understanding all these rules is important when planning for retirement for several reasons. It can help you estimate your overall retirement income more accurately. And because OAS and CPP are also taxable income, many seniors are surprised with the tax bills, especially if they have RSP or pension on the side. There are many case studies showing that seniors actually end up paying more taxes when they are retired. So please work with a tax specialist or a financial advisor to have the best plan for you. Remember that planning for retirement is an ongoing process and it's essential to revisit and adjust your plan as your circumstances evolve. By standing proactive and engaged in your retirement planning journey, you can look forward to a fulfilling and well-deserved chapter of life. All right, thanks so much for watching. If you like this kind of video, please leave a comment. I need your feedback to make it better. This is Thomas and I will see you in the next video.